This may look like some sort of futuristic greenhouse, but what you're actually looking at is a data center and it has the potential to disrupt the industry as we know it. If you know anything about data centers, you probably know that one of the most important things to consider when you're building one is heat. Specifically, what do you do with all that heat those computers generate when they're operating? Companies spend millions of dollars on air conditioners, water cooling systems, and other equipment to keep those racks and racks of servers from overheating. Not only is that expensive, it uses a ton of energy. Enter Server Dome. This is an 18,000 square foot data center on the Oregon Health and Science University campus. And I'm gonna get right to the obvious question, why is it a dome? It is the strongest uh, structure in the world and holds more, creates more space than uh, using fewer materials than any other design. So that, that is John Walrick of Serverdome, who told me the benefits of the dome go far beyond just space. Let's just take a closer look at the structure. This is the first one, built back in 2014. It's 180 feet in diameter with a height of 48 feet. Circling the dome, there's a vegetative bioswell that helps filter outside air before it's brought inside for cooling. Inside, the servers sit in five groups of two pods, circling an 11th pod, which is the network distribution hub. The structure is topped by this cupola, which serves as a hot air exhaust port. And that brings us to what makes server dome so different its ability to keep the servers cool using minimal energy. During the warm season, outside air is pulled in through slats on the outside walls and passed through a filter wall that uses water to cool the air about 20 or 25 degrees Fahrenheit. After reaching the servers, that's when that thermal buoyancy comes in. The hot air discharged from the servers rises and escapes through more slats in the cupola. So think of a pie, looking at it from overhead, a pie with five large slices. Each slice brings in air from the outside into that wedge, and the air then passes through the equipment and then goes up into the upper part of the dome as heated air. During cooler temperatures, those outer slots that bring air in are closed, and the discharge heat from the servers is mixed with a controlled amount of outside air to bring it to that ideal temperature. Then it's just sent back to the servers. A server dome also says its design provides more flexibility. One of the biggest challenges in data centers is when you're bringing in new equipment and it often comes in in racks that are pre-configured. Data center operators don't know where to put the equipment. They don't know where the cooling is. They don't know the optimum location in their data center to place that equipment. And often when they put it uh, in, in a, a, you know, by guessing, um, it runs the risk of overheating and causing business impact. In this data center, you can place equipment in any rack in any of the five wedges and it will be properly cooled. So it completely eliminates uh, what some, some data centers have one to two people that work full time trying to figure this out. It eliminates the need for that. Now, not only does Serverdome not rely on air conditioners and humidifiers, dehumidifiers, or even air ducts, it uses much less water than a traditional data center does. Where the average center uses about 1.8 liters of water for every kilowatt hour of electricity it consumes, Serverdome uses just 0.14 liters, and that is huge. According to the Department of Energy, U.S. data centers use more than 600 billion gallons of water a year, and that number is growing. And yes, Serverdome is made of recyclable materials, so they can be reused at the end of the building's life cycle, which, by the way, the company estimates at around 30 years or more. And Serverdome admits this isn't going to be the solution for everyone. I mean, it's not designed to compete with those massive data centers, but our demand for data is growing like crazy. A study out last year found that workloads on data centers across the globe increased more than six-fold between 2010 and 2018. The Serverdome says it wants to be on the forefront of efficiently dealing with this trend. We as an industry must take responsibility to build highly efficient and sustainable data centers. We cannot continue with the same down the same path with old inefficient data centers and then spending huge amounts of money and time patching those buildings to try to make them efficient. Now, there is good news. That study I just mentioned also found that power use by data centers during that period basically held steady. Essentially, the industry got a lot more efficient. 
but there's no guarantee that that trend is going to continue. Particularly as networks continue to roll out 5G coverage, things like self-driving cars get you know, more commonplace, our demand for data is going to continue to skyrocket. And as that happens, we're going to need more of these smaller data centers on the edges of those networks to get data to everybody. So do you think Servodome is the answer for that? If you think so, give us a thumbs up in the comments.